If you're considering to get a new camera, you best consider sensor size for what you're doing. And if you don't know the difference between full frame or APS-C, aka the crop sensor, no worries, I got you. Most of us when starting out, get a crop sensor body. But as we start looking more into photography, you'll notice a big difference in price with these full frame cameras and their lenses. Which begs the question, is paying a thousand or more dollars worth it for a slightly larger camera? In this video, we'll talk about your camera sensor and how it'll affect you as a photographer and videographer. I'll be going over the differences and hopefully it'll give you a better idea of whether or not you actually want to upgrade to full frame. Hey fam, my kapatid, I'm Mike, nurse photographer and videographer. And here on this channel, I make videos about camera gear as well as tutorials for new photo and video shooters. Full frame versus crop sensor. One is bigger than the other. But how much of that difference really is noticeable? You see, full frame cameras were common back in the day, but today it's most often the premium line of cameras for most camera brands, with an exception to Fujifilm. The full frame cameras often have features like burst shooting up to 20 frames per second, dual SD card slots, and if you're recording video too, they may provide 4K recording at 60 or even 120 frames per second. In terms of image quality, because the sensor is much bigger, there's an ability for the sensor to absorb or take in more light, which allows for a much cleaner image, especially in the dark or in dark scenarios. With full frame, you won't have to increase your ISO as much. In addition, a lower ISO means introducing less grain into your images too. So if you're like me and you often photograph or film indoors, you'll appreciate this when running and gunning, when you don't always have the ideal lighting. And when you do have sufficient lighting, because you have a full frame sensor, you're able to get a more shallow depth of field or a creamier bokeh. Even if you're applying a prime lens at f1.8, you'll see your subject stand out more than if you had the same lens on a crop sensor body. Then of course, if you apply a lens with an aperture of f1.2, my goodness, just look at it. That bokeh is a beauty. If you're thinking to just outright own a full frame camera and a crop sensor camera, there's something you gotta consider, and that's composition. This is what a photo looks like at 50 millimeter on a full frame. But what happens when you put this full frame lens on a crop body? This is what it would look like if you took the same shot from the same spot with the same lens. Your 50 millimeter on a crop body camera is more like a 75 millimeter on a full frame. For Sony, you calculate and apply what they call a crop factor of 1.5 for your lens when applied to a crop sensor body. If you're worried that you might be missing out on your image, no problem. You would just have to stand back a little to achieve a similar shot when using crop sensors. But what if you want that 50mm look on full frame, but you can only afford crop sensor lenses? We do some calculating. We divide our desired full frame focal length by 1.5 which in this case is 50 millimeters. So 50 millimeters divided by 1.5 gives us roughly 33 millimeters. But there's no such thing as a 33 millimeter lens. So we're looking at getting a 30 or 35 millimeter lens for our crop body camera. Okay, okay, we can get similar looks of full frame, but which one actually looks better? And how much better? For my full frame versus crop sensor comparison, we have two setups here. We got my a7s3 paired with my sony 24 to 105 millimeter f4 and then i also have my sigma 16 millimeter f1.4 paired with my sony a6400 these two are very similar focal lengths and exposure after all the math is said and done let's check for the quality of the bokeh if it's creamier at full frame ever so slightly the image is still pretty clean from both for our next focal length, we compare between the 30mm and 50mm. Again, the bokeh is not that much different. Based on my experience, full frame has been quite convenient and sometimes, well, most of the time, the better experience. But when it comes to crop sensor, are we really lacking something? Is it really that bad? So the crop sensors may have a bit of a disadvantage in low light, but we can decrease the shutter speed open the aperture or increase the ISO in the meantime, or use a light to help make up for it. Yes, we have deeper depth of field. It may not be as creamy as the full frame equivalent, but we still can get great results. F1.4 for full frame lenses takes in a lot of light wide open, and the bokeh looks great. F1.4 on a crop sensor, multiplied by the crop factor of 1.5, is still only like F2.1 for full frame. But don't let the numbers fool you though because you're still getting bokeh. Crop sensors are not dead. 
As you continue to learn more about your camera and lighting, you can still get some great results and some people won't even notice that you're, or not even ask that you're using a full frame camera or a crop sensor camera. If you're kind of leaning into the idea of going full frame, what does that financial investment actually look like? You see, these pricey camera bodies can also demand pricey lenses. Unless you're buying manual lenses, most of your native lenses can be easily upwards of $500 or more than their crop sensor counterparts. One of my favorite lenses is the Sony 50mm f1.2, and it costs $2,000. One of my favorite zoom lenses is the Sony 24-105 f4, which is nearly $1,400. But of course, you can still get lenses like the Sony 35mm f1.8 for $748 or the 85mm f1.8 for $600. If that's not as affordable yet, perhaps we may be better off buying used if you could hope to get APS-C camera body prices or anything near to it. I mean, what lenses, full frame or APS-C are you looking at? Alright, so now that we got sensor figured out, click over here to learn which is better, prime lenses or zoom lenses. Thanks again for watching. Now go out there and shoot for the life that matters. See ya.